FH Moms, uh, two years ago, FH Moms started as a Facebook group and we have grown the community to almost 150,000 members. We've been actively helping uh, Filipina moms to get an online job and um, our goal is to change lives one mom at a time. I wanted to meet uh, Mommy Mabel. She's a stay-at-home mom and she's, she's said she's, been, uh, she's becoming rusty because of being jobless for almost nine years. We also have a mom here who is a PWD with a prosthetic leg and a single mom and a corporate mom. And she said she's struggling going to office and uh, taking the overpass. And also we have here uh, um, Mommy Mary who is, uh, who is a call center agent and decided and was forced to stop working and take care of her children. We also have here Mommy Irish who is a nurse in Saudi and she mentioned that she missed four years of her daughter's special events. These are just some of the challenges of our mommy members inside the community. The top problem is that the social pressure and expectation of, um, of our, our social and even our family members that made uh, the moms feel bad about themselves, if, if, if themselves, information overload, meaning even if the information is available on the internet and even if we provide um, free webinars, they still get overwhelmed. Limited resources and opportunities. They said that they cannot get an online job because they don't have job experience. They, they don't have budget for courses, internet, and computer. And some of the moms who went abroad uh, doesn't find opportunity here in the Philippines. So our solution is an e-learning and career navigation web app that has one month program tailored for busy Pinay moms well-designed, easy-to-follow assessments and courses that is created by moms for moms. We also have our in-house apprenticeship program that will help them uh, to get like a hands-on experience. It's so easy to use. Just sign up on fhmoms.com, select your interest, and then uh, you will have a chance to enroll in one course of your, that is recommended by the platform. Our main competitor local is Virtual Assistant Bootcamp. And for international competitor, we have Unity. Both of them do not um, offer in the general audience or market, and they do not offer apprenticeship program. Our um, uh, also for the bootcamp, they they uh, the pricing is three hundred dollars or fifteen thousand pesos, which is kind of expensive for these moms. Um, according to Mommy Aileen, uh, the course is worth every penny or sulit. And the trainers are very approachable uh, and supportive and generous in sharing information. And below is our, our online attractions, and these are actually helping us to get sales. So remember the four moms. Uh, we are proud to say that 4,000 4, students that we have successfully landed an online job. And all of our mommies uh, got jobs. Um, Mommy Mary actually uh, got married in the same year, bought a new house, um, got another baby, started investing, and started traveling. And um, this is because of the monthly income that they are getting between 10,000 to 50,000 pesos. For our business model, we have six, we charge $60 or 3,000 pesos per enrollee. Just last month, we have 270 students giving us $16,200 or 810,000 uh, pesos for July revenue. Uh, right now, we have an advertisement campaign with PNG, uh, specifically Downey and Ariel, for $1,000. We also earn for, from our events and an affiliation as well. Uh, we, uh, we also we give 50% of the revenue uh, to the trainers that we have. Our trainers are the ones who create our online courses, starting from beginning beginner courses to advanced courses, and we are left with 50% margin. And for our revenue, I, I bootstrapped FH Moms and was able to grow our numbers and revenue exponentially. Re, uh, just half of this year, we have 3.2 3 million uh, sales, and we are looking at 66 million uh, pesos for 2021 with 50 55% growth rate. So for our market, we are looking at 9.6 million Filipino moms who are uh, with a global market that can speak in English and with access in the internet, giving us a sum of $580 million. And for our monthly growth inside the community, we have 8,000 new members. So uh, when I started in our first year, it's just me doing everything, but I'm super happy that our all-mom team um, 
Uh, he is helping me. Is helping me. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And also uh, our advisors for helping us with a lot of things. Um, can, I, can we go back to the uh, percentage? You have like a 25% um, success rate or something? Yes, 25%. Okay, um, I, for me that's low. Um, I just want to uh, um, check whether your content are vetted. I mean, the content, your curriculum. And um, do you do also certifications? Because um, I think that's the way to raise that 25%. Um, we just give them out like, um, like a certificate. But uh, for online jobs, they don't really care about the certification. What they need is the skills and the knowledge that uh, the, the freelancer can contribute to the company. But um, if you look at how education works, uh, you really need yes. to have your content vetted. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to work with, say, TESTA, they do have the yes. content, they have certifications. I, I think that's just the way to go in as far as this um, mm -hmm. solution is. Yes, thank you so much. Are they matched at all to jobs? Yes. So uh, we have uh, our own partner companies, local and international. And we, uh, what we do aside from partnering them, we uh, we teach them how to apply to existing job matching platforms. So right now, we don't have our own platform mm -hmm. to match them. Can we go back to your business model? Sure. So you really earn every time they enroll? Yes. And how? So, uh, in just one month, uh, we limit the number of students per course to 50 students. And then if they wanted to enroll to another course, they need to wait for another month because we wanted them to focus on just one skill. Okay, so let's say for every user that you have, how many times have you seen they re-enrolled? Or is um, it mostly a one-time thing? Uh, no, no. We have one, mem one, mem one student who is a senior citizen who enrolled for like four courses which is photo and video editing, even web creation, and then social media marketing. Uh, two questions. Do you have ISAs with or organizations? Second is, what's your roadmap to scaling? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the uh, first ISA, question? International uh, Income Sharing Agreement. Because you work with B2B, right? You work with all these um, um, companies that want to hire them, right? Oh, uh, we started working with uh, an e-commerce uh, company. Uh, which they also teach entrepreneurs to create their own platform. And it roadmap. Oh, for for us, uh, we here. So for this year, we wanted to uh, build our own platform and then launch uh, launch locally next next year, and then in twenty one launch globally. So it's a web app base. So right now, where do you publish all your trainings? So all of our trainings are uh, pre-recorded and being uploaded in different mm -hmm. Facebook groups, separate Facebook group from oh, ours. So what everything is manual, even our payments. IPR. Oh, yeah. um, IPR issue. There are IPR issues there. If they're using matching, the we don't do it yet, mm -hmm. but we just give them the clients. Because right now we're still working on our system. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.